Sky Team Maneuver has started. About 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from M MRO. Tango Delta. Touch on confirmed. So for this mission, we need to get our Mars lander safely to the ground. So we need to find where the flag run is. And then we need to make sure that it has the allowed speed. So first we're just going to find the landing spot. Then we need a landing start uh, coordinate and a landing stop coordinate. Uh, we should also uh, have a placeholder for uh, the height. And uh, then we have a previous Y and a previous X. So in this for loop we go through every spot of the map and then uh, if we find a height that is equal to the previous height that means uh, it's flat uh, and I'm just gonna add an extra if here just to check if I have um, already added the start position. So if a landing stop uh, is equal to zero that means uh, we haven't set any positions yet then I'm just gonna start with uh, adding the landing start. Uh, and uh, holding the previous Y and the landing stop position. Or, and if I already have set some of those, then I just need to update the landing stop position. And then in the end, I'm just gonna update the previous Y and the previous X to have a placeholder. That should be it. Uh, now we have the flat land. Then we need to create a function that uh, checks whether if the spaceship is over the landing spot or not. And then uh, we need the X position, the landing start position, and the landing stop position. And this will just return a boolean. And what we're going to do is simply check if uh, the uh, X position is larger than the landing start and uh, smaller or equal to the landing stop. That means we have uh, the landing spot. Now we need a function uh, to calculate the optimal angle for slowing down. We're just going to input uh, horizontal speed and uh, we need uh, vertical speed. And we're going to calculate the hypotenuse. And to this we need the horizontal speed and the vertical speed. Then I'm just going to add a if test to check that we are not dividing by zero. And if it's not zero, then we're going to calculate the angle by using the math to degree. And uh, use asim and divide the horizontal speed over the hypotenuse. Then we get the optimal slowing angle. Then I'm going to need a function to calculate the optimal landing target angle. And into this we're just going to input the position of the spaceship and where the landing spot starts and where the landing spots end. Then we're going to use the math to degree again. And this time we're going to use uh, the gravity divided by 4, which is the full speed. So this actually just calculates the optimal angle for which I'm not going to lose any height. 
it's still going to the direction I want, which is the landing spot. Then I'm just gonna check if the position of the spaceship is lower than the landing start position. Then we need a negative rotation or angle. And if it's larger than the landing stop position, then we're going to need a positive rotation or angle. And if none of the above, then it means we are at the landing spot. And in that case, we need zero. Now we need to put it all together in a get landing instructions. So I'm just gonna split it up in two scenarios where the first is uh, checking if we are over the landing spot. And if we are not over the landing spot, I'm just gonna check the horizontal speed. And if we are uh, four times over the allowed landing speed, we need to slow down. Then we're gonna use the slow angle function. Then we want to check if the horizontal speed is uh, lower than two times the allowed landing speed. And if it's lower, then we need to use the landing target angle. So we want the rocket ship to be somewhere between two times to four times 20. And then if we are in between that speed, then we can just uh, check the vertical speed and make sure that uh, we just keep a steady course. So if we are over the landing spot, we just need to make a check to see if we are uh, at the correct height. And if we are, we can just uh, have a slow pace to steadily decline. And uh, we also need to check that our uh, horizontal speed and uh, vertical speed is uh, correct. And I'm using 38 just to add some buffer. So we're not at the exact speed, which is 40. And again, if we have the correct landing speed, uh, both horizontal and vertical, we're just gonna Keep a slow pace. I also have to add a function so that I can uh, enforce the landing angle. Now it's switching between zero and minus one. So we have to make sure that we 
have an angle of zero when we are landing. Now we just have to call this function in our uh, game loop and uh, print the results. And it's time to run. First one is cleared, second map. Works great. And then it's the third map. It looks like we got it. And the four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of touched it. So kind of works. It didn't explode at least. And the fifth map. Yeah, this looks good. All tests cleared.